roaches, rodents, and yeah, pink slime. The kitchen cops had a they had a lot of problems this week around <laughs> <laughs> the valley. Yeah, yum. The, Let's get right to it. Yeah, so. hopefully you weren't eating your Wheaties or yeah. waffles or whatever. The lowest score this week at Little Libby's Catfish in Madison. Now that uh, score is a 70 due to that pink residue in the ice machine and a dirty food container. There were also no paper towels or hot water in the restrooms. An employee was also seen preparing food barehanded without washing their hands, and there were multiple food temperature issues. The South End Market in Fort Payne had several critical violations, including roaches in the kitchen and food prep areas, rodent droppings along the baseboards on the floor, and no hot water in the kitchen. This drops South End score to 80. And elsewhere in the valley, the Petro Food Mart at University and Arctic in Huntsville has an 83. The kitchen cops found flies and roaches in the building and no paper towels in the kitchen or restroom. Now in the Shoals, 306 Barbecue in Florence was holding food past that seven day limit, had a dirty ice machine and wings at the wrong temperature. It gets an 82. Another 82 to the Popeyes on the Beltline in Decatur. Now it had mold in the ice machine and chicken at the wrong temperature, but taking a look at some of our top scores this week, the legendary Tro Bridges in Florence checks in with a 97. La Fuente on 231, 431 in Meridianville is looking good with a 98 and Lawler's Barbecue in Killen has the high score this week with a 99. You can see many scores, much more mini scores, which I, it's, yeah, all the scores on our website. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 com.